Yo, it's good, everybody. Can you guys hear me? Let me know. Let me know if you guys can hear me. Um, just wanted to make sure this all works out. I see that there's two people in here right now. Let me see. Hello, hello, hello. Can you guys hear me? Yo, it's good, everybody. Can you guys hear me? Um, yo, it's good, everybody. Can you guys hear me? Oh, okay, there you guys go. Yo, it's good, guys. So, um, just wanted to go ahead and go live. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Kevin. I appreciate it. Um, yo, it's good, you guys. So, I just wanted to go live and talk to you guys about. Um, the recent Richie Lee drop that's coming up on March 6th, I believe, which is going to be on a Saturday. Talk to you guys. Sorry. Um, which is going to be on a Saturday. I feel like that's normal Saturdays for Richie Lee. Um, let me go ahead and show the comments. Sorry, you guys. I just got done playing Warzone. I'm probably going to be on live for about an hour. I don't want to keep this too long. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to load it up in the chat. Let me know what you guys want me to talk about other than the next Richie Lee drop. I know I did change up the uh, time last minute, but um, hopefully you guys are tuning in. I know I said 5 p.m., but I changed it to 4 just because your boy was bored, you know, chilling at home. So so let's go ahead and run up the chat. Kevin, yo, it's good. I appreciate you. Who's Zane? What's up? I appreciate you for tuning in, guys. Um, Ivan, always showing love. Uh, Atiba Kelly, we hear you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Soul Keeper. Alfonso, my guy, uh, did you get a dub? What did I get a dub on? Let me know. I d I haven't gone for anything. Um, I didn't go for the two pays today or toe pay toops topes, whatever the shoe is, the Jordan Four that looks like the friends and family Travis Scott. I did not go for those today. Uh, I feel like that shoe was a little weird with the um, crackling on it. I really didn't enjoy that on the shoe. It would have been a lot better if it was. Um, just all suede all around. So what size did you get on the minimal crew neck? So the green minimal crew neck and the washed minimal crew neck that I've been wearing. Um, a lot of people have been asking about that lately. I did go a size large in that and that's my true size and everything. Um, so yeah, I did go a size large in that one of my favorite pieces from minimal and uh, one of my most complimented pieces, honestly. Uh, John, what's up, bro? Appreciate you for tuning in. And Brandon, yo, we have the same name. I appreciate you guys for tuning in, guys. Thank you so much. Um, if you guys could do me a favor before we hop into this, go ahead and smash that like button for me. It does help out a lot. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, but yeah, sorry. I'm not. So if you guys don't know, I do want to do this YouTube live thing every Sunday, maybe around 4 or 5 p.m., depending on where I'm at with my timing. Uh, but today's topic is just going to be things I came across um, this week. So things that came out. And then also, if you guys didn't know, Richie Lee Collection did drop their nice little preview, uh, the lookbook, whatever it is, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, but it is super dope. I'm super excited to go ahead and share my thoughts and opinions on this next Richie Lee drop. So let me know what you guys think about it. Um, let's go ahead and try to double screen it right here. So if I'm like turning around and stuff, let me get, let me know. Um, so if you guys have any questions on what I want to cop, feel free to you know drop it in the comment box. Let me know what you guys are looking out. Hey, Zane, you, uh, that's low key. <laughs> I'm dead. That is low key. This is one of the reasons why I always, I don't know why. I just really, really always want to watch every game. I'm dead, bro. Um, yeah. So I do want to toss on the Laker game. The Laker game is at five. They do play the Warriors. Unfortunately, they have been losing, um, but we did get Dennis Schroeder back. So that's good news. Uh, man, I don't know. The Lakers, I just feel bad for LeBron. It reminds me of uh, when Kobe Bryant was playing too many minutes. I just didn't enjoy seeing Kobe go through that. And if you guys don't know, unfortunately, he did, um, you know, tear his Achilles when playing too much. So little, little bit of a resemblance. I know LeBron is built differently, but uh, yeah, that is low-key why uh, you like. I do like them. I think they're cool. Um, honestly, what's it called? I think. I don't know. I think they're cool. I just don't really like that crackling on the shoe. I wish it was all suede, and that's just me personally. Um, and I didn't cop them. Honestly, I think they were super easy to cop based off what I saw. The Nike Caesars Palace over here in Vegas did get them first come, first serve. Uh, I heard there was nothing wrong with the line or anything, so that's good news as well, just because I know there's a lot of craziness going on. Um, yeah, we need everything from the Richie Lee drop. It would be 
amazing. Uh, how do you feel about the Essentials Knit hoodie? I picked up the black and olive ones. Honestly, I really, really like those um, hoodies and the crew necks. The knit stuff is really cool. Personally, I've been kind of staying away from uh, the essential stuff because I've been rocking with minimal. I've been looking for more vintage lately. Uh, but yeah, I do rock with the the knit stuff from the essential line. Honestly, all the jeans look very uh, this look the same every drop. I got the last, but hated this stretch. Honestly, uh, yeah, dude, I like my pair. I don't know what it is. I've been wearing my uh, stone wash pants or whatever it was, the lighter color wash pants. I've been wearing them a lot with the mochas. That's the only shoe I can really wear them with. If you guys saw it on Instagram, I did rock the Richie Lee collection pants with the mochas, and I honestly really loved it. So Alfonso got the purple and gold hearts. Uh, same. You cop any 1213. I have too many pieces from 1213. I really liked that um, corduroy hat, but I didn't cop anything from that recent drop just because I feel like they're going to drop a lot of good stuff for the summertime and then also that stone cold steve austin tea was really really cool to see as well so let me uh catch up on these comments and then we'll hop into the richie lee stuff before you guys go ahead and you know view the stream whatever it is i see that there's 28 people in here right now please go ahead and smash that like button for me um gene recommendations beside richie lee so i would recommend the minimal d212 denim i know they just recently sold out and it's been hard to cop without um, a restock I've honestly waited two months for that pant to restock. So I just bought it um, when it did restock. So I'd go ahead and wait for those. The minimal D212 denim. I have another minimal coming out in the month of March. So if you guys love that those type of videos, please let me know. Um, you guys can always check out PacSun, but I feel like minimal has been my go-to lately uh, just because you know they've been rocking with the channel and I've been rocking with them. Uh, I did walk into a PacSun recently and I honestly did not like anything they put out other than like maybe the sweat shorts, but that's just me in my opinion. I know to each their own uh, rock, whatever you guys personally like, but um, yeah, got a pair of my fours yesterday at shoe palace one raffle. They limited. Yeah. So the fours, I honestly feel like if you genuinely tried to get those, you could have got them. Um, that's just me. I didn't even try at all. I just slept, slept in. If you guys know, I've been snowboarding. So just been super gassed from that uh going to university blue coming out this saturday so if there's one thing i want to let you guys know i have nothing wrong with these recent drops coming out um, but i'm only strictly going for grails this year i'm not gonna go for any um you know court purples uh university blue ones you know the tube fours whatever it is that's just me personally i'm only copying straight heat this year and uh, I hope you guys can rock with me on that. I, I've talked to a couple of you guys and um, a lot of you are telling me you're not going for the smaller stuff, uh, but there's nothing wrong with those university blues. I think they look good with the white laces. And uh, yeah, just let me know what you guys think about that. This year, Brandon Malonzo, Brand Flakes is only going for grails. Uh, maybe some little things here and there. I've been looking into new balances lately, uh, but that's just me in my opinion. So the cream wash denim and the last week you leave out my favorite cup. Yeah, I, I like the ones that they're dropping. We'll go ahead and hop into it. You guys just just killing it with the comments, so I appreciate it. I do like the ones that they're dropping. It does look like they're a little distressed compared to the ones that recently dropped um, a while back. Dog, that corduroy hat was fire. I copped. Honestly, I love that hat. Um, I just have too many hats, you guys. And if you guys know me, I'm very scared to go bald, so I need to relax with wearing the caps. That's just me, you know? No caps. I'm dead. <laughs> head ass um greeting from the six i'm gonna visit vegas one day yo let me know i will put you on to the food spots i'll put you on to the shopping spots and then we can you know help out each other because i do want to go um to the six one day you know six sightings um shout out drake i've been waiting for the d2 into it and i love the raw hem honestly i thought i didn't like light wash denim but those pants are fire uh did i go true to size yes i did um went true to size size 32 is my true size my neutral grays got canceled on goat triggered, bro. Uh, dude. Okay. So I'll give you guys Alfonso. I'm sorry to hear that, bro. It's really sad to hear that just because, but you can always go back and buy another pair. It does suck to hear that they got canceled. At least they are looking into, you know, not giving you a fake pair. Uh, but I just recently purchased a pair of those, um, coming on the way very, very soon. So 
I knew in the last vlog I said I wouldn't cop anything like that, but I went ahead and, you know, pulled the trigger and put myself in a little bit of a deep pocket. But um, not fit 550s, I cop their maroon pair, straight fire. I actually really like them, um, but I'm, I'm looking just at the V5. Uh, what is it? I have it on my phone. New Balance 990, I think. I just love this shoe. I've been really for like every day, summer shoe. Uh, here it is. It's the I have it on my phone. I just haven't pulled the trigger on the New Balance website. Give me one. Oh, nine V. Been love those. That's the pair of New Balances I really want. Can you guys let me know if my stream is laggy? Um, it's showing me. Be honest with me, guys. Is my stream laggy? Do I need to get better Wi-Fi? Um, but yeah, let me turn off my Xbox. Um, best donut spot in Vegas. I like Pink Box. That's just me. They're open twenty four hours. Um, but I haven't really like gone there in a while or I haven't really hit up any good uh, Vegas spots yet. So let me share my screen with you guys so I can go ahead, hop into this Richie Lee collection stuff. Um, oh, the gray pair. I What do you mean? Oh, yeah, the gray pair. Yes, the 550. Uh, fan of the waffle, vapor waffles or nah, I'm debating. Um, are you talking about? Are you talking about the Sakai's? I have the white pair. I think they're amazing. If you can have one shoe uh, for the summertime, I would recommend them just because I feel like they do go with a lot, depending on the colorway that you obviously get. Uh, but I do have that white pair. Um, the Vapor, what is it? The running shoe that recently dropped kind of looks like a Balenciaga. I think those are cool too. Uh, personally, just not in my lane. Um have you caught the Travis dunks yet? No, I have to. So I have to buy one shoe at a time guys. And I've been really strategically planning what shoes I'm going to cop. Um, but eventually I will get those. Trust me. I do want them. Um, but I went ahead and purchased the neutral grays just because they are a little cheaper than the Travis dunks. It was a bit laggy right now, brother. Uh, I appreciate that. I think it's better. Um, let me know. I'm, I'm sorry, you guys. I, I just turned off my Xbox. You know, when you're running multiple items, you know, the Wi-Fi can get a little laggy. But right now it's fine. Okay, I appreciate that, you guys. A little bit, fam. All right, thank you, guys. Hopefully we are good. We have 33 people in here, 21 thumbs up. Let's go ahead and hop into the main topic. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen right here. Um, All right, so screen one. Let's share it. Let me go ahead and close this out. Let me know how it looks for you guys. The comments, I'm going to take this one off. Sorry. Let me go ahead and move this over to the right. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about this Richie Lee drop. Um, let me make it better for you guys. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about this, you guys. Let me know your opinions. I will be reading the comments as we go and as I give you my personal thoughts and opinion on this drop right here. So as you guys can see, Richie Lee's new drop, super excited about it. Um, personally, I think that the flannels are, go crazy. I think they look amazing. Um, as you guys can see right here, a couple of the little previews. Personally, I don't like the red flannel. Um, I don't think it will go with much for me in my closet. I love these pants, but they're kind of similar to the sage pants that I have from the last cargo drop. But I think these look really, really awesome. Um, if I'm like being honest with you guys... I don't know. I don't want to go too crazy on all of them. Um, let me know what you guys think about this. I, do you guys like when I, you know, pull the trigger on this stuff for, strictly for content? Let me know how you think, how you feel about that. Leave a comment down below. Um, I know a lot of you guys do love the Richie Lee content, and I think it's fun to make. I honestly love the Richie Lee stuff. Um, but let me know down below in the comments if you guys think, you know it's worth you know getting the content just because you guys might have to pay resale for it or whatever it is um but yeah me in my opinion this flannel right here is the number one thing i'm looking for in this richie lee drop that's just me um i love this flannel right here it does give me like a navy blue i thought it was a black um but in other photos it does give me like a navy blue type of vibe uh so some of people are saying cop for the content vic i see you um i see you guys talking about shoes over here i'll go ahead and hop into that we'll talk about sneakers right now but uh, i just want to talk about this really really fast if you guys have any questions or let me know what you guys want to cop i personally love this flannel right here i don't know what's going on with this 
right when I'm trying to zoom in, bruh. Um, I love the blue flannel. And then the next thing I like is the, 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 like this pair of cargos right here or not cargo, sorry, sweatpants. I think they look way better than these two colors, the black and the olive pair. Um, this kind of gives me like a blue stone wash. Like, I don't know what it is, but with the white shoes and the white top, I think it looks amazing. Um, if I were to go ahead and pull the, pull the trigger on something, it would be this pair right here. And then I would move along with this olive pair next. Um, oh, here's 10. Promise y'all best drop yet. Okay, I see it. I can see where this could be the best drop. You have a good material of everything, like a good wide variety of everything. Um, but these pair of sweats right here, I personally just love the hell out of them. Um, let me know what you guys think about that. I like to, you know, have the comment box a little full. Um, and, you know, just chat it up a bit. That's why I'm here. Just giving you guys my opinion. We have 33 people in the live. So thank you guys for tuning into this live. Like I said, I do want to do this for about an hour every Sunday, kind of like a podcast type of feel. Just give you guys what I'm really looking forward to um, and show you guys what I'm about to cop in the week. I know there's a lot of drops with clothing and everything like that. So uh, my personal thoughts and opinions on these pants right here. I think they're dope. They kind of give me the same vibe. They kind of got the pants from the last drop and then, you know, just made a little distressed. That's how I feel about it. But I think they're cool. Um, let me know what you guys think about them. And uh, I'll go ahead and show my face now. Keep up with the comments. Um, yeah. So let me go ahead. Stop screen sharing. That looked um, yeah. Okay. There you guys go. Let me go ahead and pick up with the comments for the 30 people in here right now. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys. We have 22 thumbs up on the live. So go ahead and smash the like button. If you're just now tuning in, let me turn up the brightness. Um, you guys are talking, it's my B day next week and I pulled the trigger on the neutral grays right now. Hey man, I highly suggest that shoe. Every time I see it on anybody, I'm like, dude, I regret picking up the vast gray dunks and not pulling the trigger on the neutral grays. So if you want to treat yourself for your birthday, go ahead and do so. Um, nothing wrong with the vast grays. I just think the neutral gray, if you can put the money towards that, cop them. Like, like Alfonso said, cop them. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, so flannel boys, I love flannels. We need to pick up on the flannels. I know in Vegas is getting a little hot. So Vic, I hear you caught for the content. I appreciate that. If you really enjoy the content for the Richie Lee stuff, um, yeah, just let me know. Uh, I might have to right now, bro. <laughs> I'm dead. Uh, what's the pay best payment method? So with the Richie Lee collection, last time I said um, uh, Apple Pay was the best way to go, but Apple Pay just screwed a lot of people over in the last, last time, the last drop. Um, that's how I feel about it. And um, so I heard Shop Pay is the best way to go. And then also, obviously, unfortunately, uh, Paul's Facebook group did stop on the botting. And I, you know, recommended somebody that, you know, kind of hurt a lot of people's reputation. Uh, I'm not going to recommend that guy anymore. Uh, but I do have a new bot friend. Um, if he's watching right now, I appreciate you guys. And we are working on something on trying to help the little brand flakes community. So if you guys are personally interested in that and um, yeah, that's the lot. The last guy I bought resell stuff off of. That's my guy. So he did help me out and honestly, way better customer service than the last person I recommended. And uh, yeah, so PayPal, John said PayPal. I heard PayPal shop pay. Um, hopefully Apple pay maybe pulls through that gray flannels fire. I think a lot of it is fire just to each their own. You know, I'm going for, you know, the every day. I feel like I'll rock that black and white flannel every day. Literally um, pull the trigger for the reviews. I honestly love doing the reviews. And every time I, try and sell it i get my money back so that's always good news what are the materials on these sweats i'm not too sure to be honest with you um the sweats are super hard yeah the only problem i have about the sweats is because in vegas it's getting hot we kind of don't have you know that cold springtime um it's just straight heat so it's either pants or shorts um shorts in the daytime pants at the nighttime but i do love the sweats uh, i feel like they're upping their quality on this drop. I feel like they're just going, pushing forward from here on out, trying to make the best stuff possible. Very dope essential stuff. Um, a lot of people always comment on my Richie Lee collection videos saying like, oh, you paid resale for merch. Dude, this is not merch, man. You guys got to you guys gotta know. They're putting their hard-earned time and money 
and uh, quality stuff from them. So shout out to, you know, the whole Richie Lee team. Um, monochromatic flannel is fire. Sorry, I'm like reading really fast because all these comments. I thought the gray flannel had hints of purple, not navy. I don't know. It looks weird on camera. I'm telling you, the first time I saw that flannel, it did just regularly look black and white. So who's Zane said cop for the content? Hell yeah, I'm going to cop. Obviously, I feel like regardless of what I do, if you guys say no, save your money. Um, I'm always copying stuff for content. And I feel like a lot of people don't understand that. Like when I pay resale for stuff or whatever it is, um, I mainly do it for the content, guys. Your boy is trying to push this channel to be one of the best channels it can be. So thank you guys for all the support. If you're tuning in right now, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't thank you guys enough. So um, what's good, bro? I appreciate you, Mike, for always showing love. Thoughts on Reebok shoes. Um, a couple, I would say two years ago, I did want to copy a pair of Reeboks for like everyday use. I haven't really been keeping up with what they've been doing. Um, I know Reebok does have that shoe with Eric Emanuel, and I've been looking into that as well. Kind of gives me like an Air Force One vibe, um, but definitely I would rock a pair of Reeboks if I ever had, you know, some extra money that I wasn't looking into Nikes. I was going to save that for another conversation um, because I feel like I've been rocking a lot of Nikes lately. I've used to work at I used to work at Nike um, and maybe just give another brand a shot. So that's why I've been looking into new balances and stuff as well. So I have the vast grays as well, and I think I'm going to sell them, help fund the. Yeah. So. If you guys are tuning in right now, I am actually going to be raffling these off. I figured I'm going to do one. I'm going to do 18 spots, $10 entries um, for these vast grays. I feel like that's pretty fair. So let me know what you guys think about that. There's nothing wrong with this shoe, but like we're talking about, this seems like the topic of the day. I've just been trying to put money towards a pair of neutral grays. Um, and if somebody could win this for 10 bucks, I think that'll be worth it. It'll be for, you know, the community. Let me know what you guys think about that. Um, I'll probably upload them maybe tonight or tomorrow. Um, is it worth copying the denim this drop? I got, honestly, it's, to me, it looks the same. I wouldn't say it's not, I feel like everything is always worth it. Uh, but to me, it looks the same, just slightly distressed. So, uh, yo, Baron, I just copped the rude vans for the summer and the, the bandana ones highly recommend. If you guys didn't watch my last vlog, I literally just recommended those for the spring and summertime. So Ivan, that is a good cop. Good cop for you, bro. I love those vans. Um, like I said, I'm just trying to pick up some crazy stuff this year. So need the plug Alfonso. Let me know, bro. I know, um, I had you on the last one, but let me know thoughts on the university blues. We just talked about those. Uh, this year, in the year of 2021, I am only going for grails. Not, I'm going to you know, pick up a pair of New Balances or a pair of Vans here and there, but I'm trying to cop some crazy stuff this year, guys. So nothing wrong with the University Blues, just not a shoe that I can see myself wearing on the day-to-day -day basis. Uh, that's just me. So what's your discount code on Minimal again, bro? I just found out they have the D212 denim in my size. It's an instant cop. Here, let me go ahead. It's literally this. Let me type it in real quick, guys. I am trying to keep up with the comments. Thank you guys so much for commenting. If you guys would like to use my code on minimal site, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this up for a little bit. This is my code on minimal. Go ahead and cop yourself something if you guys would like to you show some love. Um, but yeah, there you guys go. So D2 and 2 denim from minimal. I would definitely, definitely recommend those. I hope Richie's dropped a vid on an upcoming collection like he did last time. I feel like he wouldn't. I think it's the smartest way to go. Uh, Kevin, I think he's going to do it. He'll probably drop it on Wednesday. That's uh, the type of time I rec like think it's going to drop. That video is probably gonna, either going to drop on tomorrow or Wednesday. Caught for the content. Going to go ahead and do it. What's up, my guy? Kixology, I appreciate you, my guy. Thank you for tuning in. Um, let me know, Kixology, let me know what you think about the uh, University Blues if you're tuning in right now. I know you're a big sneaker guy, so thank you, bro, for tuning into the live. Uh, I'll cop whatever you don't want. Are you talking about the Richie Lee drop? If I don't want it, I'll go ahead. Oh, okay, yeah, I know you're, okay, I, I, I got you. Uh, check out B-Flake Supply. I, do have, I have the Richie Lee Collection last drop hoodie on there if you guys are interested in that. I believe I put it up for like $90. Um, easy to... Yeah. 
it is easy stuff to move. I personally like I always put mine up for a little cheaper than Grail just because I want to, um, you know, look back for you guys. And if you guys are interested in that stuff, you know, uh, Reebok's pushing out a lot of. Dude, I feel like they need to like include the technology. I feel like you, people aren't trying to walk around here with, you know, bricks on their feet. So <laughs> great when you do uh, when you do save me two spots. Okay, got you. Hey, check out my Instagram. I'll be posting it on there. So I'll join the raffle too. Hey, I, I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Um, go to Summer Kicks. Video coming soon on this, you guys. Video coming very, very soon on my go to Summer Kicks. So, uh, how much is your plug? We're talking in the works right now. I don't think it's going to be too much, to be honest. Um, I on This guy always reached out to me. Super dope guy. Um, and I follow him on Instagram. We've been talking back and forth each drop. So it's in the works. It's for sure in the works. I'm waiting on them to restock. Yeah. So, uh, what's his face? John just said that they restock. So go ahead and check them out. If they have them in your size because I love that pair of pant, uh, worth the price. Yeah. Honestly, if you guys use my code, I'm not just trying to plug this, you know, whole minimal code. I honestly love those pants for sure. I think they're different. And I feel like that pair of pants is just where, you know, stuff is going. I think skinny jeans are slowly moving their way out. And um, the more baggier look is for sure coming back in. I don't think skinny jeans will fully be out, but uh, the D212 denim, I would for sure recommend. I love those pair of pants. I'm always rocking them. Um, but yeah. Should I resell my off-white dunk lows since I got the regular U note? Personally, I, as a person from Vegas, I love the UNLV dunk um, off-whites. I have them right here. I think they're a little better in my opinion just because they're different. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this. Is this a hot take? It's not just because it's off-white, but I love this shoe a lot more than the one that recently dropped. For any dunk that recently dropped, I would go ahead and say you should cop the Coast Dunks. That's the only one I wanted, um, maybe even the black and white one. So save me seven bucks. I appreciate you, bro. Hey, that's a whole meal in and out. I th <laughs> thank you for using my code. You know, save any type of money if you guys can on minimal site. Um, seven bucks. Like I said, you can get yourself a number two, maybe even with the shake. Uh, no animal style fries, though. I'm dead. Now I'm making myself hungry. Um, fire. Appreciate you. Quality is amazing on the university of blues. I got an early review up on my channel, but I respect what you cop in on. Gr yeah. So Kix Kixology, you go ahead and check out his, um, early review. If you guys are interested in the university blues, uh, like I said earlier, I did pick up the neutral gray 85s. Um, and there's nothing wrong with, you know, the regular stuff, but for me personally, this year, I told myself I would go ahead and cop you know, the Travis dunks finally get those in my collection. And then I also, I don't even know. Do you guys want me to pull up my list right now? I was going to make a separate video on this, uh, but my girlfriend and I have been bouncing back and forth with the, what do we want to cop? I know it's a bad idea. Shoes are shoes, but uh, I don't know for me personally. I just, I just really love a good pair of sneakers, especially if you're like working hard and you, you know, you want to buy yourself something. Uh, that's just me personally. Let me know what you guys think about that. But Kixology, I appreciate you for giving me your input. I'm for sure going to check out that early look. Um, but yeah, so what I have on my list for, I'm not going to say just for this year, uh, but overall I have the Union One Black Toe. I need those in my collection still. I have the Travis Scott Dunk. Um, and then a couple of maybes would be the Off-White Five. There's a shoe I've been eyeing for a while, which would be the White Cement Four. Um, I still need the Kobe Grinches. I need a hoop in those. I love that shoe. That's a grail of mine. I have the Atmos Elephant Print Dunks. Um, that's kind of a maybe for me. And then for the spring and summertime, I told myself I'd go ahead and cop the Rude Vans, the bandana ones, or the Paisley print ones. And then also the uh, Nor Norte Dunk. Nor Nor Sorry, not Dunks. Uh, Vans. Vintage tea collection. I don't have a crazy vintage tea collection, but um, I don't think it's even worth showing, to be honest. <laughs> uh, the off-white dunks are fire, but think of the Michigan Michigan off-white pairs better. Personally, man, I like the Michigan dunk high way better than any of the Michigans that's released. Um, so 
I think the colorway of the off-white ones, they kind of made the yellow a little differently. Uh, but I love this shoe right here. I didn't think I would want it. My girlfriend was like, if you want to sell them, uh, go ahead and trade them towards something you'll actually want. But after having these, when I got them for Christmas, I think they're worth it. Um, and I think they're like below. It's kind of sad to say that shoes that are below $300 are a good price. So I don't know. Uh, it'd be sick if you made a B-Flex community page or something like Paul's would be dope to um, trying to help us out with stuff. I've been. OK, so I love this right here. I love this comment. Thank you, guys. I feel like I do have a small community and it's honestly amazing the amount of times you guys DM me on Instagram. I'm always chatting it up with you guys and uh, trying to give you guys advice, whatever it is with, you know, pickups, your website, trying to show love to, you know, your vintage page, whatever it is. The one thing I want to know is, would you guys rather have a Discord group or would you guys rather have a Facebook group? Because I've been looking into this whole B-Flakes community thing, and um, I honestly would really love to start something like that. So if you guys would like you know, a Facebook group or a Discord group, feel free to let me know. I don't know which one is easier for you guys, but personally, I feel like Discord would be a lot of fun. Um, so what color did you cop? Um, I have both. Oh. John said, yeah, John, what color did you cop? He said he got the black ones. Okay, yeah, see, I think the black, uh, the in and out shakes, Matt. They just, uh, honestly, I, I have one problem with Shake Shack. They got rid of the peanut butter shake. I'm just going to leave it at that. I know we're going off on little tangents here, guys. Um, but yeah, so uh, the black ones restock. So I do like the black ones. I like the um, light wash ones as well. I rock both. Uh, but I just haven't had an outfit picture with the um, the black pants. So copping the Supreme Dunks. I haven't really been looking into Supreme, guys. I used to love, I rocked with Supreme so hard back in the day. Um, but if I were to cop a pair, it would probably be the blue pair. That's just me. But we'll go ahead and try for them. I don't think that's like a grail. I feel like they could have executed that shoe a lot better. Uh, but yeah. Neapolitan shake only. Uh, I've been doing the strawberry, bro. I haven't really tried the Neapolitan. ID on your hat. It is from, like, dis just disregard the messy hair right now. I had to cancel my haircut, unfortunately. Um, but, yeah, it's from Kill the Hype. Shout out to the boys over at Kill the Hype. This is going to be my everyday hat, you know, until my personal brand. If you guys want me to talk about my personal brand, um, drop a comment, drop a like. Uh, we do. I can show you guys a sneak preview on what I'm working on just for those who are tuning in right here. And I want to have some feedback from you guys. So if you guys are stoked about that, let me know down below in the chat. I'll go ahead and, you know, show a preview just to get you guys' uh, recommendations maybe. And um, I do have a vlog on uh, starting the brand up and uh, where I, you know, got the ideas from. I don't know. There's a lot. Honestly, guys, I didn't think making a brand would be that hard. Um, but it is pretty rough. I've been going to this embroidery shop like three or four times, just trying to make sure that everything, you know, is perfect. And tomorrow, Monday, I do pick up the sample of, uh, my first hat. So let me know down below in the comment box. Um, yeah, I've been thinking about picking up the red fear of God, new era vans, but I don't know yet. We'll see. Honestly, let me know what the price is because Prices are just crazy with fear of God stuff. So lightning force fire. I'll just say that. Um, I got the mocha ones for retail, but might have to sell them and get the Jordan four bread. What do you think? I personally love the mocha ones. I wouldn't do it just because I, I don't know. I feel like you can find a really good pair of used breads um, to where you don't have to get rid of the mochas. And uh, honestly, I just see the mochas going up from here on out. So that's just me, guys. Two people said Discord. So it looks like you guys do have a Discord. So let me know. Honestly, I'm probably just going to do Discord. That's what I've been wanting to do. Um, I feel like Facebook is just a little everywhere with it. Uh, but yeah, so any any more comments, guys, let me know. Let me know what you guys want to chat it up about. I'll go ahead and, you know, talk it up. Whether it's I've been I feel like we've been talking about minimal a lot. Um, I just told you guys that I have uh another video from them coming out. I did pick out my stuff. So that stuff will be coming very, very soon in the month of March. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, go ahead and do so. It is the name on the screen. The chat is getting a little, little dry. So 
Um, I have about maybe 25 minutes to go ahead and talk to you guys. We have 33 people up in here. So thank you guys so much. Uh, let me know what you guys want to talk about. We've had a couple of active people in the chat, some people popping in and out. And if you guys haven't smashed that like button yet, please go ahead and do so. Let's go ahead and get this live up to 30 likes. And then I'll show you guys this sneak peek of, you know, what's coming with uh, the whole flake supply. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys. Sorry, this thing is. Sprite and green dunk lows flames. Uh, I think they're dope. I think they kind of screwed up the color, though. Um, let me know what you guys think about that. I saw early pictures of it. They could have done, they could have done the thing a whole bit, like a lot better, in my opinion. They could have made the color a lot better. I don't know if it was just the early look, whatever it was. Um, but yeah, Roger, appreciate you for tuning in, bro. Top three items from the Richie Lee drop. So I'm gonna go the black and white flannel, the um blue slash steelish gray sweatpants, and then I'm gonna go with the um gray or the green navy green navy green what am i saying army green nylon pants those are the um you know the two things brandon a minimal fiend now i'm dead uh honestly i just love how they showed love to the channel and i did um you know sign a little three month i, I don't want to say a contract but a three month deal with them um so shout out to minimal and uh, them showing love to the channel i like it when brands have been reaching out to me because it gives me you know more content for you guys and i don't have to really put money into it because it helps me grow it helps them grow and uh honestly it seems like you guys do love the minimal stuff so um talk about your brand bro that shit is oh shit i, I don't even know if it should be inspired <laughs> whatever inspirational um cussing sorry um so talk let's go i'll talk about the brand give me one second to catch up with these do you have a job yes i have a job i haven't really stated where i worked just because i'm barely there and I feel like my job has been hating me lately just because I've been cutting down my hours um, because I've been trying to push this YouTube stuff, beef flake supply stuff, this brand stuff. They literally want me to stay. Um, but if I have nothing to do, I'm just gonna be like, hey, guys, if you don't mind, I'm going to go home, work on my school. Um, but literally, I'm just trying to work on this channel. I know I should probably be working more just to get, you know, some extra cash, but I'm trying to put more money and stuff into this stuff than, you know, working a regular job. So. Discord would be tight. Show your brand. Thoughts on the Travis Jordans, the new off whites dropping this year. Um, so the Travis stuff, the fragments, fire. I don't know whether I like the lows. I like the high top ones that it showed. And then the new Nike off white stuff. I like the bread fours if that will ever release. So that's just me. I'm just gonna go through a speed round. If you want multiple things from the Richie Lee stuff, uh drop, do we just cop one by one? Um, I would go for the item that you want the most and then see where you can go from there. Um, personally, I used to like go back and forth. If you have a girlfriend, maybe ask her to go for a different item. And then, um, you know, I did that with my girlfriend. You can ask your mom, whatever it is, uh, anybody who can help you out for sure. Um, I, we used, so what I did was I went for an item, my girlfriend went for an item and then we'd see what was in stock and then try and purchase whatever after that. Um, but I am going to pick up whatever I can just for the content. It seems like you guys do love the content. So um, let's get a preview. Where's the lookbook, fam? What lookbook are you looking for, man? I tried to drop plenty of lookbooks. So let me know what you what you want. Dollar bill. Let me know what kind of lookbook you want, bro. Um, the red flannel could be fire with the UNLV off, uh, off. Yes, it could. I can see that outfit for sure. What kind of vids are you planning in the future? Any sneak peeks? Darren said, I don't have a girlfriend. Ivan, so I have this notebook that I got for Christmas. It's the YouTube notebook. If you guys would like me to read off of it. Um, so for March videos right here, excuse my chicken scratch. March videos, I have top five shorts out. Um, wait, wait. Top five shorts to own for the spring and summertime in 2021. I have another minimal video coming soon working on a brand vlog. Um, like I said, I'm picking up the samples tomorrow. Uh, must have shoes to be in the collection. So that's what I have. If you guys have any video ideas, let me know what you guys think. Um, we are doing some outfit challenges at the thrift store with my girlfriend. So yo, what's good, John? Appreciate you for tuning in. Uh, any recent cops? So I have something in the mail. I have to go get that. Uh, recently, I haven't really been buying a lot lately. Um, 
Yeah, actually, I haven't bought anything as of recently. I did buy the neutral gray 85 Jordan 1s. Check out the item you want for sure. Yeah, good advice. Uh, drippiest NBA player. I would say Shea Gildress Alexander. And then there's one. I forgot his name. He's on the um, the Pelicans, his friend, the Richie Lee Lookbrook. Oh, yeah, we can go ahead and make that video happen. Let me, you know, just give me a second. I've been watching your videos. What do you think this YouTube job will be able to hopefully support you full time uh, for years? Oh, when do I think? Honestly, I think it's going to take me a while. I just recently started taking this YouTube stuff very, very seriously during the whole pandemic. Um yeah, I, I love this YouTube stuff and I kind of regret not pushing it, you know, when I was pushing videos back then. Uh, but from here on out, I do want to push this. I don't want to stop. I don't want to, you know, fall into these holes. Um, I don't know when it will be able to support me full time. I'm only at 8.15 subscribers. Um, 8,000 subscribers isn't a lot to, you know, make it in the whole YouTube space. But um, yeah, trust me, guys, I will give you guys a sneak peek, sneak peek of the hats. Um, are you still rocking with Eric Emanuel shorts? Hell yeah, I am. Unfortunately, I did take an L on the recent Eric Emanuel stuff, but I'm still rocking with Eric Emanuel this summer. Uh, room tour part two. Nothing has changed. Ari and I are con like, we're just trying to move out right now. We're in the process of, you know, trying to find spots and make our own things happen for life. Uh, but honestly, I don't know when that's going to happen, but hopefully it is sometime soon. Juan said you cop the 85s. Uh, yes, I did. Unfortunately, I did pay that price, but uh, hey, I think they're worth it. We'll go ahead and move on. Sneak peek of the hats. Been subbed for a minute, bro. Missed the basketball videos. Um, so if you guys, oh shoot, sorry. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I have been hooping. Um, I know it's not really a good look, honestly, because of COVID and stuff, but I figured why not go ahead and just, you know, appreciate basketball. I miss it. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, push through with it. I play with people I know versus random people. So that does help out a lot. And if you guys want more basketball videos, feel free to let me know. I'm not the greatest person to play basketball with. Um, I just feel like in my mind when I play basketball, I'm just like shoot or shoot, you know, just pull up whenever like swaggy P or whatever. Uh, but uh, yes, due to COVID, I don't know if you guys, a lot of you guys have reached me out for or reached out to me for this whole shipping to Canada thing. Um, due to COVID, shipping to Canada can get a little pricey. And as of recently, I have been going through a little bit of issues with USPS um, and the whole like shipping stuff. So yeah, it does suck. But eventually one day for sure. I appreciate the Canadian uh, followers, by the way. It's cool to hear that. What's your regular day job? I'm not going to go ahead and say that. I am a manager. I'm a stock manager at a store. I'll just go ahead and say that. I don't make a lot of money. I don't you know, I, a lot of my income for this channel is from beef flake supply. So whenever you guys show love to this channel, whether it's giving it a thumbs up, shopping on the web store, um, donating to these streams, I haven't even, I don't even know if you can donate on here. Um, but any little thing on beef flake supply goes back to the channel so I can keep the content going. So whenever you guys do shop with me on there it does mean a lot. So um, what's your top five Jordan retros? I feel like I'd have to make that for another video. All right, so I'm going to put the comments on pause and give you guys just a small sneak peek. I'm not going to give a crazy sneak peek. I'm not even going to share my screen, um, but I'll give you guys a very small sneak peek of the hats. Um, so let me go ahead. So for anybody who's excited about this, whoever has been rocking with me, whatever it is, um, I'll go ahead and show it. So. If you guys don't know me, I love Space Jam. Space Jam is one of my favorite movies of all time. And if you guys watch the movie and pay attention to their hats, I love this logo right here. So I don't, this is just a random guy from the movie. So if you, you guys can, you know, picture it, whatever it is. And um, your boy created this right here. So I am going to be making these very, very soon. It's in the process. Embroidery is just super hard um, with this type of logo. I guess it's just the person I'm going to. Maybe they're not as good or skilled as, you know, whatever. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so there's a sneak peek, you guys. I don't want to show anything else. Uh, please don't screenshot that. But if you guys would like to follow the Instagram page, it's going to be Flakes Supply. Um, it's right here. So I'll go ahead and show it. 
If you guys want to follow my brand, be the first ones to go ahead and follow it. It's right here. Our Flake Studios. Sorry. Um, Flakes.studios. If I can show this to you guys. Sorry. This is terrible. Um, yeah. So that's what I have in the works. Um, I know it's nothing crazy, you guys. But if you guys would like to follow it, go ahead and uh, let me know. And I'm getting, I just want to hear you guys. Here, I'll go ahead and show it on the screen right now again. Um, the logo, so this logo right here is very hard to be embroidered. And I'm a little worried that the samples tomorrow um, are just going to be like really, really bad. Um, but we'll go ahead and see it. I'm vlogging it tomorrow. So here's the logo. If you guys want to follow the page, it is Flake Studios. Um, let me know what you guys think about it. It's going to be a regular hat and then also a trucker hat. I figured the trucker hats would be fun for the spring and summertime. Um, but last little sneak peek, I'm getting good responses. So if you guys want to, you know, share your opinion on it, let me know. Um, there is the main logo. So yeah, quick sneak peek, you guys. Let me know what you guys think about it. I appreciate you for, you know, being in and we'll hop back into the comments right now. Top five Jordan retros. So I'll go ahead and say, I don't even know how to put this. You would have to give me some time. Um, Chicago ones, bread ones. See, this is really hard. I don't even know, but we'll get to that maybe another day. Uh, love our coming in tomorrow. Super dope. I love Eric Emanuel. Love their quality. Uh, how do you feel about people using bots and resell? So I've been doing this thing where I kind of feel like, you know, uh, can't beat them, join them. And I'm not going to say I bought myself, but I have came across a really good friend. I guess you can sit, I don't know, acquaintance, a viewer, a subscriber. And um, he's been really, really kind to me. He's been very dope, very communicative, um, whether it's, you know, running bots for a certain shoe or the Richie Lee collection, whatever it is, I appreciate, you know, this guy right here. So uh, there's a lot that goes into botting and um, there's a lot that goes into taking L's on the sneakers app. I think the whole sneaker world right now is just very price gouging and money hungry. Um, the community is very hard, I guess you can say to really come across good people. And I feel like the people that have been rocking with this channel have been really good. Um, and I'm not going to say like, I respect everybody's hustle. I can't, you know, knock their hustle, whether it's from botting or whatever it is. Um, but I personally don't mind it. It just does suck for me personally to take L's to, you know, bots or whatever it is. And that's why I mess with brands like Eric Emanuel and, um, union because they did do the bot protection if you guys don't remember when the union fours dropped on their website it had that whole bot protection where it said um what color is an orange and that threw everybody off for a whole spin uh but i don't know it's kind of that whole thing where you can't beat them join them and i honestly hate paying for resale but i just love sneakers and i love clothing and um i understand where the resale prices can be a little high uh, but yeah, I don't know. I'm never going to be a botter, but I can also always support someone's hustle. So that's my opinion. I don't know if I'm making sense right now, but yeah, that'd be sick. More basketball videos. All right. I'll keep that in mind. You guys, more basketball videos coming soon for sure. Uh, keep up the great work. Your channel will grow fast as dude. I appreciate that. You guys are like one of the best group of viewers ever. You guys always, you know, spreading kind words and, uh, we're only trying to move up from here. So yeah. Eric Emanuel alternatives, um, minimal mesh shorts. I don't know if they're still in stock, but I catch myself rocking the minimal mesh shorts all the time. They're just the everyday basic. They're not going to have the logo, but I do love, um, the minimal mesh shorts for sure. Collect and select, um, really good brand as well. I think I had a pair of shorts from them, but I never really rocked them. All right. So here we're back up to the comments. This is, uh, I'm guessing, the reaction to the hats. So I appreciate you guys. The main logo's fire. The logo's so fuego. Tough. Looks good, fam. Um, hey, I, I really appreciate that, you guys. I love to hear this feedback. It's making me excited. I've been wanting to post it and just like put it out on Instagram, but I don't want to, you know, this whole process has been taking forever. Um, so yeah, uh, Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. You guys are showing mad love with these stuff. So, and if you mean by the main logo with the B, I love that logo. So let me know what you guys think about that. So, uh, the hats prices probably going to be around $48. That's my goal to keep them at that. 
but we're just trying to figure out pricing and embroidery. It's been a process, you guys. So we'll pick it up tomorrow, see how it works. But that lady that I went to is just, I don't even, there's this thing called a digitizing fee and you have to pay it. It's so expensive and it makes no sense. Um, but I paid a lot of money for it. So I don't want to go to anybody else and have to pay that fee again. That's just me. I don't know. Yeah. Yep. Mitchell and Ness retro shorts. I have the Laker pair. Uh, love those shorts to death. And I would recommend those for sure. Uh, Perks of living in Portland is an easy plug to Nike and Adidas. I love Portland. Um, and I would love to live there. I, I don't know. I love the Nike employee store and it would be cool. So I would love to, you know, maybe hit up the employee store once again, but we shall see first follower Alfonso. I'll make sure to throw in something in there for you, bro. Uh, whatever the package comes, I see you. Thank you. Appreciate that, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I see you DMing me right now. Always showing love. Uh, why did you quit working at Nike? So if you guys don't know this, a little time about me, I did work at Nike for about four years, five years, almost five years. And um, the reason why I quit is just things get tiring. It's fun. It's fun while you're young. Um, it also depends on the store you're at, what your situation was. And uh, I worked there for about four years full time. And that's where I kind of was making, you know, decent money as, you know, a young 18 year old, uh, working full time, working overtime hours. I had a lot of fun there, but the store I worked at just changed with the whole vibe, the culture. A lot of the stuff now at Nike has to do with like signing people up for, you know, emails or whatever it is, the Nike plus app. Um, and I just didn't find that fun. I missed the culture where it was about, you know, taking care of people, like straight cu good customer service, whatever it was. Um, I just worked there for too long. And, you know, after a little while you get tired of it. So that's why I worked. I worked there from when, when I was like 17, 18 to around like 22, 23. I don't even know. I don't remember. It's been a while. I don't think I've worked at Nike for like two years. So yeah, I don't know. Ask people who worked at Nike. It's, it's fun. It's, it's worth it sometimes, but I don't know. She could have gotten a lifetime discount. Yeah. So when I left, screw Nike. When I left Nike, they did the lifetime discount right after I left. They changed all the rules. They gave everybody raises at my store. So personally, I just left my store at the wrong time. Um, and it sucks. So is the hats um, going to be us only or can I cop from Europe? Philip, I, dude, I appreciate, or sorry, US only, not us. Um, I appreciate you from Europe, man. If anybody in Canada or Europe wants to cop something from me, DM me once the release happens and we'll get something figured out because I just want to show love to the people who, you know, support me around the world. And uh, it just means a lot. So thank you, Philip from Europe. It does mean a lot. Once the drop happens, maybe we'll go ahead and take care of anybody who's from Canada or Europe just because I want to show you guys love. Um, so, yeah. They have you on that. Anthony Davis, are you, I don't even, are you from Portland? Yeah, they're just, I don't know. It's just crazy, man. I just, they're heavy on it, man. I, I hate it. Uh, you're, what's good, bro? Appreciate you for tuning in. What's good? Your <laughs> thoughts on the, uh, un, or unauthentic, yeah, UA, unauthentic, um, seen Paul's videos and other YouTubers talking about this. Um, I actually have seen a lot of YouTubers talking about this and I talked about it back and forth with my girlfriend, whether we, support it or whether we don't for me personally i would rather have the real thing i'd rather put the money towards the real thing um even if it didn't pass say stock x or if stock x somehow gave me a fake which i doubt that really happens um i'd rather purchase something that i know is real or at least feels real or the closest thing to it that it passed stock x goat whatever it is I think it's not a bad look if those people don't want to purchase those type of, you know, prices. The price differences are actually freaking bananas because I'm not going to lie. After seeing uh, Paul's video, I looked into it and some of the unauthentic shoes are crazy. Um, but for me personally, I would not recommend it. Um, and that's to each their own. You know what I mean? Not everyone is going to pay the prices. And sometimes some people want to get the look of it. Um and I know Paul's video is actually crazy how no one really noticed it until he brought it to the sneaker store. And I've seen a lot of people talk about it recently, but that's just me and my thoughts. 
Um, but yeah. Hey, Ray, I appreciate that, man. If you guys want to go ahead and, you know, show love to the Instagram page, I'll put it right here. This is my brand. If you guys want to go ahead and follow it on Instagram, um, we will be dropping stuff. I'm going to shoot for April, guys. So shooting for April with that stuff. Um, but yeah, bro, in Portland, literally everyone knows somebody who works at Nike. There's like four Nike stores in Portland. I love working at Nike and I would never regret I regret leaving, um, but I also don't because I have I feel like after leaving Nike, it says I'm lagging again, and it's kind of making me upset. Sorry, you guys. If I'm lagging right now, I'm about to hop off anyway soon. I have about like 10 minutes in here. Um, but when I worked at Nike, it was a lot of fun, and I don't regret it at all. Um, I wouldn't go back just because I feel like I'm grinding on this YouTube thing, and this YouTube thing has helped me out in a lot of ways. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. I want to grind on YouTube. This is what I want to do. I really enjoy this and hopefully some days, some somewhere down the road, it'll pay off to where I can, you know, make a living out of this. And I don't want to give up on something that I truly, you know, believe in and truly really I'm having a lot of fun right now. Um, so yeah, you're good. Not lagging. Thank you, Roger. Appreciate that. Uh, sounds good, man. Sending a DM when the drop hats want to support. Hey, I appreciate that. See what I mean? I'm just trying to, I appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, you seen Keezy's. I actually don't follow him. Um, I seen a couple of his stuff, but I think his pants, if they're salvage denim, I kind of don't mess with salvage denim. So yeah, that's just me. That's just my hot take. Uh, wish I worked at Portland. I'm in Arizona. Are you in Tempe? Because that place is, I heard is crazy. I don't know if it's a gold mine anymore, but I heard Tempe, Arizona used to get some crazy stuff at that, um, at that store. What is it? The discount store? Um, yeah. So discount stores are always fun. I, it kind of like reminds me of a thrift store. You're kind of looking for the best possible thing to, you know, find at that Nike clearance store. Uh, but yeah, so I have about four or five minutes in here. I'll get like, I'll give you guys some extra time. If you guys have any further questions, if you guys want me to chat it up a bit um, before you guys head out, if you guys are heading out, please make sure to smash that like button for me. We had 40 people in here. It was a lot of fun. I do want to do this every week. Um, hopefully it can, you know, set up my Wi-Fi a little better, set up some better lighting. Um, but let me know what you guys think about the lives. If you guys enjoyed it, um, let me know, drop a comment. And then for those who actually followed the page for the brand, I appreciate that so much. It does mean a lot. And uh, you guys are the best, man. I can't thank you guys enough. I'm in Glendale, uh, but we have straight heat for like 60% off. See what I mean? Some of the stores, man, I really want to check out some stores that have heat because the Nike store out here in Vegas, super dry. Um, but actually somebody came across a pair of Sakai's the waffle joints in Vegas. And I think that's honestly freaking crazy how you can come across that. When I used to work at my store, we would get some, you know, some insane stuff, but I heard my, my, the, my old store doesn't get, you know, crazy heat anymore. So sucks for them because I, I remember seeing some crazy stuff at my store and I, I regret it for sure. Cause we had, you know, white cement fours, black cement threes. Um, I've seen a lot of crazy stuff at that North outlet for uh, Vegas. But yeah, if you guys are tuning in, we talked about the Richie Lee stuff. We talked about my recent pickups. Um, I showed you guys some, you know, upcoming videos. Let me know what you guys think about the upcoming videos. If you guys have any recommendations, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'll jot them down right now. Uh, your boy has to catch the Laker game. Hopefully the Lakers win. We've been losing a lot lately, um, but we got Dennis Schroeder back. If you guys want me to talk about sports, whatever it is, I have a basketball game at 11.30 p.m. tonight. That's mad late, and my body's hurting from uh, snowboarding. What else can I go off on a tangent about? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for everybody who tuned in. If you guys smashed the like button, you guys are the best. We almost have 40 likes, um, and if you guys didn't know, I did show a little sneak preview of my brand. Um, yeah, so drop a comment. Thank you guys so, so much for everything, man. It's been the best. Um, dude, I honestly, I, I can't thank you guys enough. I never thought like people be rocking with me like this and you guys just chatting it up, sitting here, listening to me rant. It just means a lot. So, um, did you cut the strings off from the minimal mesh shorts? They're hella long. 
I did not. I usually just double knot it. That's what I do personally. Um, just double knot it, you guys. I'll go ahead and share my screen. Let's talk about. Let's talk about Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, feel free to make sure to go ahead and do so. Your boy's been trying to post a lot of fits, trying to keep up with the content, and um, just overall, just I just posted a vlog. So if you guys want to go ahead and check out the vlog, go ahead and do so. Um, I think that vlog was pretty fun. It almost has a hundred likes, so it seems like you guys really, really enjoyed it. So thank you for that. Um, I'm trying to post up. So based off what I got from this, you guys love the Richie Lee content. You guys love, um, you know, the hats. Thank you guys so much. And then also, what else do you? What else do we talk about? I'm like ready, like losing my train of thought. I'll sh share my screen right now. Hold on. Yeah, so for the 35 people in here, if you guys have any further questions, thank you guys so much. Um, go ahead and like the button, subscribe if you guys aren't subscribed, and I'll go ahead and share my screen right now. Hold on. I wanted to go ahead and talk about Young Instagram. Um, if you guys don't follow me, go ahead and do so. You know, you boys been – shout out to uh, Alfonso. Appreciate you, my guy. I need to get better with these transitions, man. It looks crazy on the live. <laughs> um, but yeah, so here you guys go. Just recently posted this. If you guys want to check out the page, couple fit pics. You guys have been killing it with the likes and the comments. This one got 340. I don't even, I Richie Lee liked this one, which is kind of cool because I was wearing the pants. Um, while we're on the topic of Richie Lee, these are the pants from the, the last drop. Um, and let me know what you guys think about that because actually let's go ahead and check out Richie's page. I don't know why Richie Richie doesn't post a lot. I feel like he should. Um, I know Tan. Let's so so minimal kill the hype. Richie Lee collection. Where's Tan right here? Tan posted on the recent drop. Here's a little sneak preview, I guess. So it looks like the flan. I love this flannel. I don't know what about it. I just love. Um, the pants look dope. They look the same. A little distressed. I don't know if I'll cop or not. Uh, but yeah. Sh if you guys don't know, these shoes right here were at the Nike outlets that I used to work at for $40. And now they go for like, I don't even know what they go for. It's crazy. I know he did the whole aged thing, um, but that's insane. That used to be at my store where I used to work at for $40. I don't understand that. So, yeah. I swear Richie Lee be finessing us with his collection. The clothes uh, be good on him because he's hella short. Are you saying that they don't look good on us? Because I honestly really like them. Kevin, thank you. Appreciate it. Sunday Lives. Let's go ahead and start calling it the Beef Lake Sunday Lives. The crew neck from the bottom of the tee showing his look fire. Um, and Sunday Lives. Alfonso, yes. Sunday Lives. Let's go ahead and wrap it up on that, you guys. Sunday Lives every 4 or 5 p.m. I don't know what time I'm going to go um, live at, but feel free to go ahead and let me know which one you guys prefer. Probably 4 p.m. probably works out a little better. Um, thank you guys for everybody who tuned in. This was able to get 40 likes website name. Uh, yeah, let me show you guys my website. A lot of the stuff on the website is sold out, unfortunately, um, but your boy is working on getting. This is my website name. If you guys would like to go ahead and shop with me on the website, beeflakesupply.com. And uh, a lot of the stuff is sold out right now, in my personal opinion. Um, I, from what I know, there's a lot, there's a Richie here. Let's just go ahead and pull that up. I guess, um, for the people that are still in here, thank you guys so much. We're just going off on little random tangents, I guess. Um, but yeah, so share my screen, pull this up, share. All right. So here's my website. You guys, if you guys would like to go ahead and shop with me on there, beeflakesupply.com. Um, I do have a couple of items. I actually have a lot of items sold out right now. Uh, but like I said earlier, if you guys honestly shop with me on here, it does mean the world. I still have this charcoal gray uh, Richie Lee hoodie. If anyone is interested in that, 90 bucks plus shipping. I feel like that's pretty fair compared to Grailed. Sorry, let me move this out of the way. Um, but yeah, so I have a couple of items on here for sale. Vintage guest um, denim jacket. <laughs> What else? There's just a lot of stuff. I still have a lot in store, um, but yeah, I don't know. 
lot of it did sell out. I like these are 20. If you guys want to send offers on anything, feel free to let me know. Um, because your boy, you know, is trying to get rid of some stuff like this. There's a couple of on here, like things I like, I would really, I would be willing to go 20 bucks on this Pittsburgh Steelers shirt. That's just me. Um, this sold out, whatever, you know, if you're a Tampa Bay fan, cause they recently won, this is 20 bucks. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the website. So thank you guys so much. Bflakesupply.com. The brand is coming very, very soon. So uh, stay tuned for more videos. If you guys didn't check out the vlog I recently dropped, uh, go ahead and do so. It did drop. Leave a comment on there. Leave a like. It does mean a lot. It seems like you guys did enjoy the Sunday stream. Kingsley Bernardo, thank you. Solid stream. It does mean a lot. We'll be back next Sunday. Uh, 2021 is going to be a great year for you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Or a great great start because of a brand. Oh, because because of my brand. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but thank you guys so much for tuning into this live. I do apologize if I'm a little bit laggy. Um, we'll go ahead and you know work on that for the next stream. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Leave a comment down below, drop a like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys next Sunday and in the next video this week. You guys have a good one. Peace. Thank you guys.